Hello everyone, welcome to IT Expert System YouTube channel. Today we learn how does a QA prepare for test cases. First let us understand what is test cases. A test case is a document, which has a set of test data, preconditions, expected results and post conditions, developed for a particular test scenario to verify compliance against a specific requirement. At what stage test cases should be prepared? The test case development begins once the test planning phase is completed. This is the phase of STLC where testing team notes the detailed test cases. Along with test cases, testing team also prepares the test data for testing. Before we go ahead let us understand what is test scenario. A test case describes the conditions and variables under which a tester will examine if a digital product works correctly in small, comprehensible test steps. It is a set of actions executed to verify a particular feature or functionality of the software application. Let us take one example for login functionality. Check validation for the scenario check response on entering. Valid agent name and password. Check validation for the scenario to check response on entering in valid agent name and password. Check response when the name is empty, and the login button is pressed or many more. These are all sample test cases. Let us create a test case for the scenario. Check login functionality. Also see how test scenarios convert into test case table. Here, we make one test case and test descriptions that check it email and password. Before we move on let us understand what is test data. Test data is data which has been specifically identified for use in tests typically of a computer program. Some data may be used in a confirmatory way, typically to verify that a given set of input to a given function produces some expected result. Test data may be recorded for reuse or used once and then forgotten. This is how we add test data in our test case table. In this table we have added some test steps. Test steps describe the execution steps and expected results that are documented against each one of those steps. Many times, the test steps are not simple as shown in test case table, hence they need documentation. Documented steps will help facilitate reviews by other stakeholders. Now during test execution time, the tester will check expected results. Let's see what expected results versus actual results is. Expected result is how the system must behave after testing the functionality of an application. And actual results is what the system behaved after testing the functionality of an application. Here, as per example we can see that actual results is matched with expected results. Before we go further let us understand what test results are. Test results are the outcome of the whole process of software testing life cycle. The results thus produced, offer an insight into the deliverables of a software project. The outcome for results will be pass or fail. Let us see test results as pass or fail for this example. This is how the real life project test case looks like. This is best practice for writing test case. First, Test cases need to be simple and transparent. Create test cases that are as simple as possible. They must be clear and concise as the author of the test case may not execute them. Use assertive language like go to the home page, enter data, click on this and so on. 
This makes the understanding the test steps easy and tests execution faster. Second, create test case with end user in mind. The goal of any software project is to create test cases that meet customer requirements and is easy to use and operate. A tester must create test cases keeping in mind the end user perspective. Third, avoid test case repetition. Do not repeat test cases. If a test case is needed for executing some other test case, call the test case by its test case it in the precondition column. Fourth, do not assume. Do not assume functionality and features of your software application while preparing test case. Stick to the specification documents. Fifth, ensure 100% coverage. Make sure you write test cases to check all software requirements mentioned in the specification document. Use traceability matrix to ensure no function slash conditions is left untested. Sixth, test cases must be identifiable. Break time equals ones, greater than. Name the test cases such that they are identified easily while tracking defects or identifying a software requirement at a later stage. Seventh, Implement testing techniques. It is not possible to check every possible condition in your software application. Software testing techniques help you select a few test cases with the maximum possibility of finding a defect. 8. Self cleaning. The test case you create must return the test environment to the pre test state and should not render the test environment unusable. This is especially true for configuration testing. Ninth, Repeatable and self-standing The test case should generate the same results every time no matter who tests it. Tenth, Peer review After creating test cases, get them reviewed by your colleagues. Your peers can uncover defects in your test case design, which you may easily miss. Let's see what the communication skills QA or should have. Use these avenues to improve and practice acquired communication skills. Your communication strategy and choice of words will change based on the audience you address. Explore various online talks, presentations, and articles on how to ask better questions. It is a difficult skill to acquire, but so worth it. Only by listening will you understand the detailed information and severity of a defect. This will in turn help ensure that you are aware of the expectations. Technical and business jargon are commonly used and understood in the software development teams. However, misunderstandings can still arise, especially when you are working with cross-functional teams or groups that may or may not have the same context. This will make your content and message precise, and thus much more effective and well thought out. Do not shy away from any form of communication. If you do not share information and ask questions, it will only slow down your work and eventually the team. No question is a dumb question, and no point is useless. Have the confidence to ask, demo, point, and discuss. When what you share is backed up with data, facts, and observations you can refer to, your ability to clarify and elicit becomes more powerful. Seek to improve yourself if you are one of those who is not naturally blessed with good communication skills. Practice makes perfect. Or rather close to perfect at least. Getting feedback from trusted people within and outside of your professional circle can help you steer your improvement efforts in the right direction and give you a boost when positive feedback begins to flow. Thank you for watching this video. We provide hands-on computer training with labs slash homework slash group projects, prepare you for the certification, provide real projects, internship opportunities, support you in resume slash LinkedIn, staffing support, Provide tech. References, in person, online class, class retake options, and many more. Call us at 847-350-9034 for your free career consultation meeting. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to our video to get the notification of our